You know, I'm not surprised the Illuminati had to keep it a secret. I'm surrounded by fucking idiots. Jesus, Jesus fucking, fucking Christ. Has history been tampered with? The documented history of human civilization is supposed to reach several millennia back into the past. And yet if we consider the rate at which civilization is supposed to have progressed, we encounter periods of obscurity and informational vacuum following the alleged decline of every ancient empire, and then everything starts anew. Inventions are presumed lost for centuries, then reinvented by people whose names bear suspicious semblance to those of the ancient inventors. Just how true all of this is? Could history as we know it really be a collation of several chronicles relating to one and the same period of time? Apparently, this is what the Russian mathematician Anatoly Fomenko claims. He is the author of the first volume in a series of seven that came out in English recently and generated incredible controversy amongst professional historians worldwide. Many are trying to put the author into one league with numerous paranoid conspiracy theorists and mad inventors, however, all of his work conforms to the highest academic standards and is backed by solid scientific facts, furthermore, some of the most lucid minds of our time support many of the theories put forward by the authors. Gary Kasparov the world chess champion, says the following in his preface to Volume 1. Let us consider the factor of a mass character that I shall be referring to as psychophysical. Documented history tells us of the insatiable need of human beings to make discoveries. The vector of technological progress is a strictly vertical one. Every ten years something happens, discoveries, sea voyages, explosions. Everything keeps on changing, we see constant evolution from Columbus to the landing on the moon, from crossbows to nuclear bombs, forwards and upwards. However, the traditional ancient history tells us of periods when humanity apparently remained dormant for centuries. Ancient Egypt, the medieval, dark ages, whole epochs of utter stasis in human thinking. It appears that the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and Rome had a different genetic code, and couldn't be bothered about anything at all, so they froze in their development the result being a total lack of innovative activity. At the same time, there had been prosperous ancient empires where those among Homo sapiens who possessed pensions for arts and sciences could get plenty of opportunities for growth and development. But, alas and Alec, all of the prosperous ancient empires had ceased their development at some point. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece, and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. Popular fiction dealing with conspiracies of one sort or another is actually quite tame as compared to reality. Dan Brown pens a possible conspiracy of the church against the memory of its originator Jesus. He follows unknowingly in the steps of Martin Luther who started his Protestant revolution with accusation of papal conspiracy in the matter of Constantine's testament, well, Martin Luther was right and Constantine's testament was false. Remember, poor Martin Luther had his media outlet nothing better than the doors of the Wittenberg's cathedral. Dan Brown has mass media at his disposal. The Roman Catholic Church, for instance, is involved in a much greater hoax than the most daring writer could possibly conceive of, one that deals with the very foundations of history itself. The above statement is neither an exaggeration, nor a metaphor, very few people are aware that the BCAD chronology as we know it was created by a handful of Jesuits in the 16th-17th century, Joseph Scaliger, Dionysius Petavius and their successors. We have grown so accustomed to a timeline that runs through many millennia, from the Egyptian pyramids to the present day, that the mere thought of questioning its veracity seems perfectly preposterous, 
just like the notion of a rotating Earth must have seemed in the epoch of Galileo Galilei, and just as heretical. But nevertheless, the entire conception of ancient and medieval history known to us today owes its existence to a 16th century Jesuit hoax. A hoax that has finally been exposed with the aid of astronomy, mathematical statistics and modern computational facilities by one of the world's leading mathematicians, the Russian academician Professor Anatoly Fomenko. His fundamental work on chronology, history, fiction or science? Now available in English, is more fascinating than Dan Brown at his wildest. Yet it is truly a non-fiction work, that goes to say, everything else you have read about history should probably classify as fiction. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.